Hello. When we're out, I often get asked how I do my hair, and most of my hairstyles are based on having curly hair in the first place. As you can see, my hair isn't naturally that curly, so I have to do it myself. There are lots of different methods to do it, but the one that I prefer doesn't use any heat or styling products, but it does take a bit of time. So I'm going to go and wash my hair now so we can get this started. Now, the first thing you'll need is a wide tooth comb. You also need a rat tail comb. You'll also need lots of curvy grips. I've got them in two sizes here. And then the final thing, I started off using fruit pastel or polo or just sweet tubes like this. I ended up eating them all. So then I just use a permanent marker. So now I'm going to just comb it, start from the bottom, and then work your way up as you want to peel the hair as little as possible. Now comes sectioning the hair. I've tried various different ways and different formations to produce different results. For instance, if you have all of the pink curls at the, the nape of your neck, then obviously it's very straight up until there and then has a nice wave or nice curl at the bottom. I'm going to try um, having it all over my head. There's going to be a minimal amount of straight hair and then big curls. I always give myself a side parting. When I first started, it would take me about an hour, maybe a bit more, to do my whole head. Now it takes about 20 minutes. I'm going to section off the front of my hair and just tie the rest back so it doesn't get caught up. Generally, I'll go to the top of my ear on that side and the same on the other side. The amount of hair in each curl is determined by how long and how thick your hair is and also how tight a curl you want. The more hair you put in, the looser the curl is going to be. I want fairly tight curls um, this time so I'm not going to use very much hair. So, I'd use about that much hair. Not a great deal. So, the way to do this is you get your food passes for you then. Put the food passes in a moment. You hold your hair out straight to make sure it's very smooth. Take whatever you're using to curl around. You have to roll it right to the end. Make sure you don't start gripping the hair. You tuck the end in. You can either do this with your fingers or you can use the tail comb to push it in so it's really tight and then all you do is keeping it tight roll it up to your head basically um, keep it in tight what you do is you clamp down with one hand holding onto the curl and then with the other you just ease out your curling thing um, don't just pull it straight out because that will pull the curl with it, so you just need to edge it out quite gently. Um, and I tend to just put in one pin on one side, another pin on the other side, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So depending on how deep your parting is, um, I normally do three or four on the fuller side and then one or two on the side of the left side. Now that I've done the front row, I will do another row going from left to right about the same width. So I will section that off. These don't have to be incredibly neat because um, you will style them to a certain extent once you take the curls out. Um, obviously, you're trying to get them in as neat as you can, but they don't have to be in proper rows. Um, 
Okay, so just do the same again. Same size sections. Apart from where you place the curls, another way of altering the look is by you can either wind up the curls under or over. Now, I say this is under. This is what I generally do just because it's easier. Um, and this produces tighter curls. So the pen goes on top and the hair gets wound under. Over. So this way it's a little bit trickier but you can produce nice slick result. The pen goes under. Thank you. 
I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit